Yeah, Faye, there's good news and bad news regarding the firefight today. The good news, the wind has been light. The bad news, you can kind of see around me, the air is thick with smoke. That's because of the light winds allowing the smoke to just kind of settle right around Flagstaff, reducing visibility and, of course, impacting air quality, which is why I'm wearing a mask. And it did slow down efforts regarding aerial operations, but that didn't stop efforts on the ground. In fact, we were with hotshot crews earlier today conducting burnout operations. The air is thick. <coughs> Smoke's getting to me. And it's hard to see. But the Vista Grande hotshot crew out of California isn't letting that stop them from gaining the upper hand. They were using drip torches to burn out an area so that they could control the fire as it comes down. On the fires burning in our high country. The more things that we can do to set favorable conditions for us, the more successful we're going to be. They're one of a dozen hotshot crews, along with hundreds of other personnel, conducting operations like this to slow the growth of both fires. So far, nearly 30,000 acres have burned in total, with 31% containment on pipeline and 0% on haywire. The light winds Wednesday, helping crews burning where it's safe to do so. We have a saying in the firefighting community, right? One foot in the black. Um, black means it's already burned, and so you're safe there. The operations, part of the Type 2 incident management team assigned to major fires. Their years of experience, make all the difference. These guys and gals are extremely dedicated to what they're doing and I personally, you know, I'm, I've, I've been doing this now since 2014 and every time I see these guys work, guys and gals work, I'm just in awe of what they do. Now the Type 1 Incident Management Team, which is essentially the cream of the crop, will take command of the fires tomorrow morning. Now regarding the conditions, that's what we're monitoring very carefully here when the weather is beginning to change, which is likely going to do so. And with the latest on that, we have Chief Meteorologist joining us now, telling us what to expect regarding, first of all, the smoke yeah. here in the high country, Amber. Yeah, it is thick up there, Jorge. And at this point, we are tracking that smoke kind of lingering over the area as Wednesday light tonight into tomorrow. So let me walk you through this here on that wildfire smoke forecast. Again, you can see that primary area of smoke coverage in the red here, right along the 89, right near sunset crater through early tomorrow morning. As we head into the afternoon hours, the winds will pick up a bit, and so the plume will spread up into Tuba City. And then as we head into Friday, this is now early Friday morning. At that point, we expect some dissipation of the smoke plume over the area, and it won't be quite as bad through that Friday forecast, it looks like.